LiveCAD Lite Modify Tools. In this video, I will show you how to use Modify Tools for moving, rotating, scaling and mirroring geometry in uh, 3D Studio Max and Cinema. I will show you difference between no-down mode and mesh mode, how to clone with Modify Tools and uh, how to use properly snapping. All Modify tools are located directly on LiveFCAD toolbar, so in 3D Studio Max you can run, uh, move, rotate, scale and mirror directly from this LiveFCAD toolbar. Exactly same position it is in Cinema here. LiveFCAD toolbar, move, rotate, scale, mirror. Now let's take a look on the two basic modes for Modify tools, the node mode and mesh mode. So when we use the Modify tool with a node out mode, node mode, and we move this object, we are moving pivot of the object. And together with pivot, it goes also the object. When we switch node mode to mesh mode, then we are moving just a mesh and the pivot of the object stays on the original uh, original position. So this way we can modify or move on the mesh or polygons within the object. This is very powerful because uh, we can do a lot of combinations with these two modes. Let's uh, try some example. We want to place the pivot of the object into the corner of this box. So just uh, activate uh, move tool, click to the corner of the box and move it to the pivot. And now we have pivot in the corner. Let's do uh, the opposite. Uh, we want to put pivot in the center. So keep uh, center, center snapping and do first click on the center and move it into the pivot. Now we have pivot in the center of this box. Very easy. Another very cool feature of Modify Tools is integrated cloning system, which works together with a node and a mesh mode. So let's try again the move tool on this box. And we can enable cloning just by clicking on the clone or holding shift key like in 3D Studio Max. And with these neat uh, open job buttons, we can adjust number of clones. Let's say we will use the uh, additional two clones uh, from this object. And if we keep no down mode, then we can see in scene editor that we have additional two objects cloned. So we are creating clones of the uh, object. When we switch to mesh mode, now there is no additional object, uh, but uh, we can see that we have multiplied the geometry within the selected object. So we are cloning the polygons or boxes inside this object. So this is difference between no down mode, we are cloning more nodes or objects and mesh mode. We are cloning geometry or mesh within the object. Let's continue with a second modify tool, a rotate tool. Uh, so selecting box one. Now with rotate tool, with first click, I will define first handle or the origin handle around which we are going to rotate. With second handle, we are defining starting point of the rotation from point from which we are going to rotate. And uh, last third handle is the uh, rotation handle to which point to which we are going to rotate. So with this three handle, we, are, we can rotate any object precisely. And together with a uh, move tool, let's try some simple example. So let's say this corner, we will move here to this corner and with rotation, we want to align this edge to this edge. So define the origin, the starting point and rotate the edge to the edge. 
So you can see this is pretty useful rotation tool. Let's try also how uh, cloning works with rotation. So define the rotation angle here and put some clones here. So you can see very easy cloning around the angle with rotation tool. Let's continue with third modify tool, a scale tool. With scale tool, you define three handles. Uh, so first handle is starting point, second handle end point, and third handle is the handle which define the scale between the first and uh, second handle. Scale tool works with three different modes, 1D, 2D, and 3D. In 1D, you are scaling only one dimension along the uh, line defined with a uh, first and uh, second uh, handle. So along this line, scaling. With a 2D mode, you are scaling in two dimensions. First dimension along this line, second dimension is uh, perpendicular to this line. And the third mode when defined, you're scaling three dimensional. So as you can see, 3D mode here in perspective view, view report, it is uh, best visible. So this is three dimensional scale, two dimensional scale, just two dimensions and one dimensional scale only along this defined line. So this was using scale with a mesh mode. Using scale tool on single object with a nodal mode has no sense. We need at least two or three objects to see how it works. So uh, we'll use scale tool in nodal mode here on this grid of objects. So you can see because in nodal mode we are moving just a pivot point. So now the scale is not affecting the size of the object, just position of the nodals in 2D mode and same it is uh, in 3D mode. So now uh, it is pretty clear how it works, nodal and mesh mode. Also mesh mode works on these multiple objects. So now pivots are frozen and you are scaling just mesh. And finally, the last modify tool is a mirror. So you can create mirror object with this uh, three handle tool. So start handle, end handle and center. Uh, and you define the line along which you are creating clones of in nodal mode, you're creating additional object or with mesh mode, you're creating mirror object of the polygons within this same object, same as in previous tools.